Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial and the next set of tutorials, we're going to be dealing with recognition, image recognition. And in this tutorial specifically, we will be talking about uh, Tesseract, uh, the uh, Tesseract Optical Character Recognition, OCR. Okay, uh, Tesseract OCR is probably one of the most uh, known um, optical character recognition algorithms. It's actually, it works very good. It keeps getting better every year. I mean, it is not perfect. I am the first one to say that. But I see improvements every year. It gets better and better. Okay, and uh, it's enough talking. Let's, let's start downloading. So the first thing you need to do is go into the downloads page and find the the uh, download that you need, uh, depending on your system. For me, it's the Tesseract OCR 302. 0.02 tar GC, which is this one is only 3.7 uh, megabytes, so it's not that much. And all you need to do is hit enter, as you can see, it's here. It's going to be a tar GC file. If you're not familiar with tar GC files, uh, you need to use gunzip uh, first. You gunzip the file first, just gunzip like this. Let's do it here. Uh, gunzip and then the name of the file. So in this case will be Tesseract. I, it's not even there, I already deleted it, but it's gonna be that name right there. And once you do that, then you go tar, tes, uh, actually tar xvf Tesseract, and the name of the file. You know how to do this, you've been doing this. If you're watching these videos, you know how to on tar uh, a download, okay? Once you do that, uh, there are another extra step. Uh, if you don't do the other step, nothing will work. So we need to go back here and go into this section where it says compiling. Just go in here. If you're using Ubuntu like I am, these are some of the libraries that you need. Some of these you may have already as part of the OpenCV library download or, or the SciPy, NumPy. You might already have some of them, but you just just enter each one of these commands. Just open a, a terminal like I did before and just copy and paste nice and easy and go like that. And first of all, clean it and then go like that face and the system will tell you whether you have it or not uh, -da -da. actually I don't have that one I don't know why but I've been using it I must have an older version and then you just use it for each one um, and it will I mean it's nice and easy just let the system do it for you and once you do all of them then you're going to get actually let's do it together so so you know because this one if you don't do this one right nothing will work so let's uh, let's move it here let's move tesser actually it's uh, in download so downloads and tesser act and that's the name and just move it to this directory right here and then just go oh, like I said gun zip tesseract okay and now tar xbf tes tesseract and it's going to inflate it and now you can go into cd into the tesseract and this is the bash, um, the executable right here, and the configure. You need to do both of them, okay? So all you need to do is do bash autogen, and it's going to uh, run it. It's going to make sure that you have everything, and it's going to build it, okay? and it's ready for configuration when that is done as you can see some of the files it created some extra files now and now you're ready to configure so you just go configure 
and it's going to check to make sure that you have all the compilers, the G, C, C, the G++ for C++, and it's going to go through your system just like we did it with OpenCV, just like we did for um, for everything else. It's going to tell you that it's now make is ready. So all you need to do is make, and then sudo make install. Once you do make, okay, I'm not going to do it because I already have it configured and then sudo make install and then hit enter and once you do all those two just do sudo ld config just like we did with our opencv okay and once you do that it should be all you should be all set and to let me clear this and to make sure that everything is running properly just enter tesseract version and it will tell you uh, the version number. Actually, I didn't tell you this. I let's go. Let's go back one second. We you need to install Leptonica. I forgot to tell you. Uh, for me, I downloaded 3.03 .03 because I'm using Ubuntu 14.04, trusty. But if you're using uh, Ubuntu 12.04, then you need 3.02. Okay. But the minimum for the Leptonica library is uh, 3.01. I mean, you need Leptonica for Tesseract to work. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this. I should have told you that before. But uh, all you need to do is, uh, is download it from here and just do the same thing we did. Let's do it together here. You go here and where is it? Source download, click here. And it's going to download for Ubuntu for a trusty or for the 1204 whatever you're using and you just follow the same way that we did before I think it also has actually let's do it together so you don't let's do it it's not such a it's not such a big file I don't want I want to make sure that you you have it installed properly um, and let's clear and let's move from downloads and it's Leptonica 1.71 tar GC and move it to move it to this directory and now just it's also a, a tar gc file so you need to do use gunzip first first and then gunzip leptonica and then once you do that then you do untar it with a tar xbf and then the name and it's going to untar it inflate it cd into it and it has the auto bill and it has the configure okay um, I believe you do it the same way I don't remember if you do the as you can see I mean just to configure as you can see it's an executable so it's ready to go so all you need to do is configure It's going to check for the compilers just like we did before. Make sure that you have all the dependencies. And then it created some extra files as you can see. And now you can just hit auto build. And, or you can do make. And then sudo. After you do make, sudo make install. And then you do the same thing, sudo ld config, uh, just like we did with the other one. Okay, so but in the next tutorial, we're going to be going into how to actually use the OCR and explain it, uh, some some of the in the idiosyncrasies of it. But this is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, um, we'll go deeper. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.